All right, time to continue my game. Um, let's see, I left doing that mantis stuff last time. So I'm not sure which missions I'm gonna do. Um, let's see, I don't want to do main missions because those are boring. I could do more, more of a, more of this. I always do like a different faction start or I can just do random ones. First contact. This, so I think these are in order of when I received them. Still can't do that. I guess let's do... I don't know if I want to do a faction. Let's look at my star map. Bend an outpost, bend in line. What type of resources are here? Helium 3, not a bad planet. Let's set up uh, another outpost here. I kind of feel like just landing on a random planet that has some sort of point of interest. <coughs> oh, that's a long path back. This seems to be an important in between. Maybe I should just do the Crimson Fleet one. I need to buy more ammo and stuff still. The levels are going up more as I... What's, what's here? This is Free Star Collective. And in hangar. Let's just go to a random place. I don't know why. Helium three here.
camera angle. And my ship barely fits in here. If I went to somewhere like before I was supposed to. I guess I can see what's in here. This one doesn't fit here. Let's solve the other layer for this one. This one goes like right there, and then I need those, that one, those two, and that one. This one. Maybe that one. Mm. Not exactly, though. This one only goes on this layer, too. This one would have to go right here.
Uh, I don't know which ones I use. I could auto slot. Let's auto slot. I do that. I don't need I basically need to use two of these three. Which two can I use? This music's really loud right now. So work. Seems to work. Hey, I got something. Old Earth shotgun. Okay. Credits. Normally increases sneak bonus by 1% and melee sneak attack by 5%. Another little save. I'm starting to get tired of doing these. Four. I need to solve it. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's so one, need a three and a four. So I have to use this one and then one of these other three. So let's just say that goes there. That won't work. Probably go there, there, 
and then like this. Yeah, that works. This one goes here. I don't say. All right, some credits. Whoops, and some hard times. I didn't get to see what that was. So I hit the take all button. The book. Yeah. Solar radiation. I forgot to put some of this stuff on my ship. There's an outside. I wonder if this is where I would have landed if like I wasn't friendly with these guys. Always looking for the next mark. Except me. I like the low gravity. This is where it came up, yeah. Alright, well, down I go. This this planet was boring. Ooh, I must miss this. I guess I should do a mission. I might want to empty out my pockets though first.
Wrong thing. Uh, whoops, I put my cutter away. Never know when I might need a pistol, but yeah. Hey, refavored it. Mantis spacesuit looks so dumb. That is a lot of value. It's a quest item. Alright, where am I flying to? What's this? Let's do this. Tron map, where is it at? Paradiso. In what system? Level 30 system. Eh, it's not that far away though. Sure, let's go here. I feel like I can probably turn down my engines a bit. Are we gonna fight? Who are you? I've been here before. Let's see what's on this city. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot here, other than that building. You think we'd be a prime target for pirates, but they know to stay away for the most part. But I am a pirate. It may be paradise, but that doesn't mean we don't run into trouble from time to time. Yeah, I'm not gonna steal anything. Talk to the chief.
You have two doors in your office. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. Mm. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Yeah, uh, sure. I understand you're eager to get into it, but if you're unwilling to take this seriously, I can foresee problems in your future. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. And not quite. It took some time, but we received a transmission. It was all... pardon the phrasing. It sounded almost alien, like nothing anyone's heard before. Clicks, distorted groans, buzzing, really disturbing sounds. Now, one of our engineers says it could just be some busted comm equipment or incompatible signals, but we're not sure. So far, no one's disembarked from the ship. No landing craft, nothing. We don't have the staff or ships to spare. Otherwise, we'd dock with it and attempt to board. It is. Whatever's going on, <laughs> you need to approach this with care. All right. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or what ever's on board. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him. He'll have your pay. Good luck. Okay. Stolen items locker. Wonder if there's anything good in there. Probably empty. But I'm doing it anyway. stuff but I'm not gonna bother with it
Okay, I'm back here. Pardon my ignorance. We just didn't expect to find people out here. We didn't think anyone else left Earth before us. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti Da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. You've come aboard the Earth colony ship, Constant. Generations ago, we set forth from the planet Earth with the mission of colonizing a new habitable world in the spirit of our ancestors nearly a millennium ago. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by, well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. <laughs> We're not entirely sure. Our engineers believe it's possible to our technology just isn't compatible with theirs. All we hear when using them to communicate with anyone is a bunch of disturbing noise. It gave me the heebie-jeebies at first. Hmm. Ah, your question confirms one of our recent theories. It would seem that some form of faster-than-light travel or space-bending technology was invented during our long journey. That would explain why we would find people this far out into space. I guess technology leapfrogged us at some point. Interesting. I can only imagine that our predecessors didn't believe the technology would ever work. And so they made the decision to leave when they did. Yes, of course. Where are my manners? Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. All right. Dr. De Costa, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. For security purposes. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed the Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. The if you can believe entire confused. generations have been born, Don't lived, you. and died on this ship, it really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance.
So, here we are. Let's talk. Finally. Should I take the captain's key? I won't. Let's. I'll talk I first. Anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? Ah, so they have a name. <coughs> Paradiso. And it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assume that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Yes, yes, of course. But we need to start from a firm position and state our goal. If need be, we can compromise, work out a mutually beneficial deal or some such, but initially I'd like you to be firm with them and convince them to leave the planet to us. Let me know how they respond, and we'll go from there. Thank you, and Godspeed. Nope. Mine. We've got strict rules around here. They're strict for a reason. Just stay out of trouble. Anything good? be useful. Ooh, this it's the captain's key. Gold. Yeah, I'm taking it all. Up. You're making things harder for yourself. I've spent my entire life in the constant. I'm not sure how else to live. Hey there. I need to make sure no one's looking. Don't be stupid. Stop now. Stop what you're doing. You're under arrest. That's not an option here. How about you just come with me nice and easy? Good. Uh. Any more trouble today?
Oh, it's a little bit of XP. Boy, am I glad you weren't some sort of alien or something. Yeah, me too. These are exciting times, aren't they? <laughs> and to think, all this time we thought we were alone. I wonder what it's like out there beyond our little community. I feel like there's not going to be a whole lot of good stuff around here. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. Wow. Hi. What's just here? I was up at four, but careful before. Hi there. Oh, <laughs> um. nice to meet you. And that's true, right? We've been cooped. Anyway, I'm Dice K. The ship's not really. Things don't work that. Almost everything is communal or shared in some way. So when that happens, mostly... We manage. I know back on Earth. But here, this is... It works out for the most part. Hmm. Good seeing you. So I can't sure is nice to buy anything. Other people out there. It's in the freezer. Where I got caught ceiling. There's so much more to learn about. That Access to nine. Shut down the reactor. If I pickpocket the key. How do I get off this ship? Looks like it's downstairs. I've lived my entire life in the cold. Oh, that's a bathroom.
some strict rules around no. here, but they're strict for a reason. Now that we know what's out there, things are going to look more interesting. Uh, one second. Okay. Undocking complete, Captain. Now I fly back down to the planet. Is there any assistance I may offer you today? Actually, that question. Where's the dude I need to talk to? Is over there now? Sell stuff here. <sighs> Welcome to Paradise. Feel free to look around. And before you. Okay, take a look. Being interesting. Um, you don't have any notes. I don't have anything good here. Well, I can sell. I'm gonna sell you some weapons. Can't sell you very much. Have fun out there. Out. These people have much. Excuse me. Hello. Excuse me. You can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Nope. I'm afraid so, yes. Sorry, but that's just how it is with the board. They're generally very busy, so any outside parties need to book appointments in advance. I really don't, and I can't have you barging in on the executives while they're working. So if you need something, you can talk to me. That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. I just feel that we should Come be on, focusing Mike. on Loads the natural more beauty things of this outside. Place. No You're need to mill about in here. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> Ah, we're bearing direct then. Good on ya. 
So, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not gonna work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. It's not our responsibility to bear the brunt of that cost. We're being more than generous by offering the use of our engineering team to help install it. A custom grab drive can't come cheap, and I assume they have neither the monetary means nor the connections to get a hold of that kind of technology. That leaves the only other party in this negotiation. You. I'm not suggesting anything other than it would make our lives so much easier if that ship ceased existing. Make of that what you will. We own this planet, they don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with, and how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. Of course, because you're sensible, like me. I'll be honest, I was beginning to think you were one of those anti-business types. People are hardy, they'll survive. Businesses, on the other hand, might not. All right. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I have no idea. I assume there's a captain. Uh, settlement deal, grab drive. They'd be hard-pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that charter's official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. I don't know which one I want to do. Spend money, eh. Take the settlement deal or blow up their ship. I would like to raid their ship, but I feel like you can't just blow it up. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso Group, we appreciate your help.
There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, it's the only thing we've really got to offer. Ah, I don't want to risk us coming off as just another artificial, shady, trash bin dump like Neon. That's not who we are. We've got something special here. We should embrace that. Come on, Drake. Thanks. I... We don't want to compete with Dion. Bayou's ruthless. He'll do anything he can to eliminate the competition. We don't need that kind of trouble. That being said, I think he's a bit rough. Maybe we build a beach front at a boardwalk amusement park. I've had this idea. Evening, sir. been here. up. Roy and lock now. I feel like I'm gonna start doing some of the science stuff. Grab jump range, 15%. might be worth it. Let's do that. Can I sell stuff here? You don't have much to sell. 
What do you have to buy? Packages. Those only sell. Weird thing. Adela, deep breath. Oh, God. Right. Right. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. Where to start? So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. Just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? <laughs> you get it then. So, I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment? Slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. I don't know. I was just flying for my life. But some bad people want it. It gets even worse. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the... So Oops. if you go into the pit stop and claim your Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? Do I get the contraband? I don't know. I don't want anyone to get hurt, but he may not give you any choice. All you right. are the best. This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. Yep. Got a new mission. Complaints. Keep an eye on your valuables. Yep. We'd be dust, except for the factory. used to be sure that sounds like me oh you should have just said that of course i can help you oliver sent a courier ahead of you i did some research on ships from that era and i have a decent idea what we're dealing with so grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grav drive that looks like it could be compatible. It's some minor adjustments. It's in good shape, too. Parts not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours. Ooh.
I need to persuade. Um. Wait, we still have business to discuss. Wait, I need to just down some pills. Twelve percent, don't have a twenty. Yeah, this. And I can also this. valuable weight if we got rid of the pirate sea. Ah, right. It's a pretty big ask, given how rare these old grab drives are. True. I keep telling myself I'm holding on to it for the right time. Perhaps this is that right time. I hear you. Oh, get ahead of yourself. Aww. You know, I have to make a living too. And Hope Tech can't just give away parts for free. Sorry, that but quick save. I've got to charge you the same price as everyone else. Wait, we still have been. Is this the. I saved, right? I don't remember. I think that was an auto save. Hard to get better prices for a horror. Just three more to go into. sent the courier so grab drive parts not cheap though it, it's a pretty maybe it is <laughs> so good to demand such a price tell you what sounds like this is for a good cause while i can't give you the part for free i won't charge you for the work well that's a bit cheaper you're done, right it is. I'll get to work on it right away. I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working with you. There goes all my money. We'll get along fine. This is the door. Oh. This is the door, this Kirby thing. So I got another mission on this planet, right? Show all targets. Captain's bounty. Might do that. I'm assuming that's that over there. No, this is a power. One hopes the best thing that happened.
I have to go for this. Someone with a cowboy hat. Phasing through. Excuse me. If you need anything, just ask for me. Sal. Yeah, I'm good. As dives go, this place ain't bad. What's your name, stranger? I'd buy you a drink. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markab? I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the truth. Bounty says you made off with a haul of medical supplies meant for orphans or something. I get a bonus if I turn the shipment in sight unseen. I figure they're in the markup. I don't deal with smugglers and no good times. What I do, but more violent like. My words, my bond. So you didn't shoot your way off me, Jan Fahim. The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. Maybe. Maybe not. The thing that smells really? might be you. And all I have to back that up are words. I'm not very good at this. Then why do you have a bounty on your head, huh? I believe you'd say just about anything to avoid me taking you down. Well, I'm done talking. Why? Why? Switch my good gun. Key. So where do I find some ammo around here? Okay. 
think. Don't any more trouble. Might be best if you leave for now. Who has this key? Spaceships are to these settled systems. Everything would grind to a halt without the trade authority. My girlfriend's still paranoid up there. any more trouble. Ron Hope's a damned hero in my book. I heard the fighting. I'm so sorry. Take this reward. I have to go before another tracker arrives. Thank you. And isn't that a cheery thought? Just need a few supplies and I'm gone for good. I have I want to your go. ship. Like now. I mean, maybe. At my sixth birthday, the theme was unicorns. Sorry, bad joke. Since the tracker's on world, I'm sure he's got eyes on the Mark Hob. It's just too dangerous. Hmm. Well, I guess that's that. Okay, I went back to this. All right. 